What's up, everyone? Welcome to the week three uh, Madden roster update show. Uh, for those of you that are new here, I'm that franchise guy, and this is where I kind of go through my, my roster that is on Xbox One. Uh, and just to give you guys the rundown, a lot of people ask me why I do these rosters. Uh, you know, EA spends a lot of time on theirs. Um, but the main reason is I disagree with the, the EA ratings in a few different ways. Um, sometimes I feel like they're incredibly stats-based and they don't even watch the film on some of these guys. Uh, and then the other thing is my roster has a much lower overall average, which if you're a franchise mode uh, player, you're going to notice, A, it's a lot harder to uh, maybe fix your team in the middle of the season. The free agent market is much more depleted. Uh, and then also uh, players are going to cost you a lot more when you're trying to resign them and stuff. Their market value is going to go up a lot more if they're real superstars. Uh, so that's why I do this roster. Um, so here we're just going to do uh, some risers and fallers from week three. I finished watching the film. Now we're going to start with uh, the fallers, actually. Um, starting with uh, is going to be Calvin Pryor for the Jets. Not necessarily that he's bad. Um, it's more that he was a guy I didn't really lower uh, when I did my original roster, when I lowered a ton of players. And he's just not really making plays right now. Uh, was getting beat a lot against the Chiefs. Uh, and then another uh, D-back that's going down is uh, Demarius Randall for the Packers. He's had a couple a couple rough weeks. Um, so he goes from an 85 down to a 79. Uh, and then another one, I finally did it. I've been uh, really saying I'm going to lower Cam Newton for a while now. Um and he was just so bad last week. I know he was going up against a tough Minnesota defense, but that safety that he took was absolutely pathetic. He had so much time to step up, and it was basically everything that I've been saying about Cam Newton, that he is just so flat-footed in the pocket, and sometimes it just looks like he's a peewee football player in terms of his fundamentals, and it's just unbelievable. Uh, definitely still a ton of talent, and I know a lot of people are going to give me criticism for this, but he is still uh, the eighth-ranked quarterback on my roster. Uh, but I had to give uh, some differentiation uh, in terms of the ratings from Cam Newton and and truly, truly elite guys like Breeze, Rodgers, and uh, Brady. Uh, so we'll, get, we'll go into the risers now. Um, there's a guy I kind of trashed earlier. Uh, in one of my earlier videos in uh, saying he was an overrated player uh, in Madden, and that's Rashad Jones for the Dolphins. And, you know, I can't be right all the time. I guess the games that I watched of him last year, he had a he was either injured or didn't really have a good game, but, man, Rashad Jones is just making a statement this year for the Dolphins. He made so many impact plays against the Browns last week, so he's up to a 94. Um so my apologies to any Dolphins fans uh, about that one, but uh, he's going to be one of the highest rated safeties again in my roster. And then another guy that went up pretty big uh, who's had a big game all three weeks now uh, is Timmy Jernigan. Left end for the Ravens. He's got three sacks, one in each game this year. And he had uh, he batted a ball that led to an interception late in the game. Super young. Uh, super athletic, uh, do-it-all lineman for the Ravens, uh, going from an 80 to an 85. So those are uh, big risers and fallers this week. Um, stay tuned next week for week four. Uh, and make sure you you check out my Twitter, at TFG underscore football. Uh, I tweet out, as I'm watching film, I'll tweet out uh, some highlights that you may have missed on SportsCenter or NFL Network, and then I also tweet out uh, when I'm doing Twitch streams, and uh, even more importantly, when I get this roster uh, finished. I'm not necessarily able to get this video out right away, but uh, you'll be able to see on the Twitter uh, when this roster is up uh, every week. So, thanks guys, uh, we'll see you next time.